You gonna call? You calling the cops because I'm black? Is that what it is? No. Okay, why are you calling because the cops? You're in front of my neighbor's house. You need to leave. Why do I need to leave? Because you don't have a reason to be here. Oh, do you know? Do you know? What are you doing here? Do I, I, uh, who are you? Uh, huh? Karen. Is your name Karen? Is your name Karen? Go ahead and call the cops. I'll wait for the cops, actually. I have no problem on that. Y'all gonna learn to stop messing with black people. You gonna learn to stop messing with black people. That's, that's what you gonna learn. Just because I'm black and I ain't bothering you. You think I'm a threat? Because if I was white, you probably wouldn't call the cops. Call the cops. Tell me it's a black male. He's about five foot seven. I know. Black male, five foot seven. Um, you know, heavy set. Heavy set build. No, I'm talking loud. I'm not yelling. I'm talking loud so you can hear me. So I don't want to get you. No, I'm not approaching you. I'm staying a distance away. Let me tell you why this is so sad. And it's routine with these Karens, especially as it relates to black males who seem out of place to them. There was a dynamic back in the day called Freedom Papers. And black folk in America had to present Freedom Papers to white people. And any white person was empowered to demand freedom papers at any time. You did not have to be a white person of status. You did not have to be a white individual of authority. You simply had to be white. And you could demand freedom papers to be presented on site if a black person looked out of place. Does this not seem familiar? Black male looks out of place in a community and don't Come at me with, cause I get the inboxes and tagged on social media. Well, maybe she was just in fear. Maybe she really was concerned about her neighbor. Does that look like a woman who's scared to you? Hey, what's up? Yeah. What's going on here? Um, I want to talk to Raul. Raul? Yeah. Okay. About? Oh uh, yeah, I spoke to him already. He knows. Don't get nervous. It's nothing to do with you. I'm speaking to him. Hey, you're yelling outside of my house. I want so to know what? I'm on the car. I'm on the okay, sidewalk. Come on, like you're. What's going on? I am on the sidewalk. Okay, that's fine. What's going well, on? Well, don't don't get involved. Okay, that's what I'm okay. telling you. It He's doesn't. He's busy. He's working right now. He doesn't. It doesn't bother you. It's not your business. It's their business. Okay, he's working right now here. Yes, so. I didn't tell him to come out. I yeah, for 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 speak Espanol, speak American. You're American. You're here in the United hey, excuse States. Excuse me, Spanish is spoken in this country a whole lot more than you think, Peggy. Uh, no, I don't, so, yeah. I don't think so, Gabby. I don't think so. You know, know what? What's up with you? This is this no. is not okay. Well, you know what's too bad? It doesn't involve you. You're no, yelling it doesn't. on my property, Peggy. I'm not on your property, my yeah. sweetheart. Walk away. You don't get to talk to me. Go out Peggy. in your Peggy, house. You don't get to speak to me that way, Peggy. Check your tone and walk home. No, I don't need to. I am here on the sidewalk. Enjoy your sidewalk, Peggy. Yeah. You're being really rude for no reason. I'm not being rude. You came out and barged me. Excuse me. It's no, I'm not. not. No, no, I did not, Peggy. Keep, no, I did not. Keep recording. Go ahead. I'm going to keep really recording. Care. You need to take care of your daughter. Please. No, no, no. she's good. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, we're good, Peggy. Yeah. Well, your so opinion isn't needed, honey. So am I. No, I'm, I'm not, not sure what. I, I'm sorry if you're going through well, something, Peggy. You know I'm what? really sorry. You, you should, you should see a therapist, Peggy. And you're sticking your nose in some place where it doesn't He's belong. He's working here. There's no reason for you to I come here and talk him. to him. I didn't know. Then why are you him. talking to him? I don't even know his name for your information. So go back in your house where you belong. Gracias, Peggy. Que tengas buen día. Go back in your house. Que Dios te bendiga, Peggy. Adios, Peggy. Adios. You have seen these Karens, we document Karenicity because Karens can be very dangerous in this world. And you saw in this instance, I think this is our first Karen in skinny jeans. Do we have that? <laughs> do, do we have, let, let's play that back. I thought that was quite fascinating actually. <laughs> she, she does have on, she, listen, she's pulling it off, all right? Sure. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> So he, wait a minute, <laughs> here it comes. Those are in fact skinny jeans, I, I, I kid you not, yes. Hey, wherever you're staying. Wait, so we so can't- which, which, which townhouse in here are you visiting? What's wrong with that though? What? I said what's wrong with that, just playing along, around the neighborhood. You know what, how do I know that you are not picking on that kid and this bike? 
He's not picking on him. He, do I know that? Just please you can go back to you. wherever you're coming from. And you put your phone away. The fact is that woman did not like uh, the presence of that little black boy playing in the neighborhood with that white boy. And this is the stuff that MLK had talked about, what, 60, 70 years ago? The fact that mm -hmm. there are people who do not even want us playing or interacting together. And she wanted that little young black boy to be out of her neighborhood. And so as you have noted, she essentially demanded his freedom papers to try to give him grief about why he was physically present and having a good time. And then she also insinuated that he was presenting or he was presenting somewhat of a threat to the little white boy. This thought that we're inherently dangerous or violent in some way. And it's like if she could have pulled out any more racial you know, ideologies or tropes, she would have. And I just really hope that someone in that neighborhood has stood up to that woman because she, she doesn't deserve to be there.